Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in today's video, I want to do a teardown of this EVJ RTX 3080. Now, this didn't come with the EVJ hybrid cooler. Uh, it was attached after the effect. It was originally the uh, For The Win 3 Ultra, and then just had the hybrid cooler. And before I tear it down, I just wanna make sure everything is working. It does need a light cleanup, and the radiator fins are pretty caked up but I do want to make sure everything is in working order. There are some screws, two right here that are missing on the back plate, but everything else that you need structurally uh, and the thermal pads uh, definitely could be replaced. But just wanna blow it out, clean up a little bit, use the toothbrush and the toothpicks or the uh, Q-tips to kinda clean up that dust so that the airflow can return. And then we're gonna throw it on the test bench, make sure everything is in working order, and then we'll do a proper teardown. So the radiator's clean. Just use a shop vac with my toothbrush to kind of clean that up. And just to show you one of my methods with the soft bristle brush is, this is what the blades look like. But then after with the toothbrush, they look like that. Uh, with a little wet paper towel, maybe some pledge that's safe for electronics. I will clean each of these blades individually because when that dirt builds up uh, on these blades or any fan, that obviously adds a little bit more weight. That can also cause imbalance in, in the spinning of the blade, uh, which can also cause additional issues or wearing on the fan bearing. So just one of the tips that I've mentioned throughout most of my videos is soft bristle brush, Q-tips, a little bit of rubbing alcohol or some pledge, safe for electronics cleaning, and you can clean these things up to not, maybe not almost new, because you can still see where the dirt was behind the fans, but get it as close as possible restore that airflow just wanted to show you this so these two blades i have not cleaned this is with it cleaned with the soft bristle brush and then here is it completely clean with a little bit of pledge obviously there's still some like this bar right here i gotta scrub down you can see my finger is pretty dusty but soft bristle brush to loosen up the dirt and then paper towel to go in there and clean the blades just makes it that much better brings that renewed life and airflow to your system. So don't be shy, clean your fans. All right, this isn't gonna be a complete teardown. I'm just focusing on getting everything cleaned up. The fans are good now, radiator could be a little bit better. Maybe we could run it through some water or I could run some rubbing alcohol through the, the actual fin stack so we can get the dust that's kind of like embedded in between each fin. And then for the fan blades, uh, you know, the soft bristle brush won't get in there. So I'm using a Q-tip to very carefully get in there, loosen that all up, and then blow it out as best I can. And we'll just do a proper teardown of just the GPU or this hybrid cooler in a different video. I just wanna get this part done so we can get it on the test bench and confirm that it's working, run it through a time spy, make sure it can handle workloads, keep an eye on the thermals or the liquid temperature, because I don't even know how much liquid is in this thing. So we'll do a proper teardown of the GPU specifically in a different video. All right, here we are. We got everything hooked up. So both of these fans can connect directly to the hybrid cooler because that fan is getting powered directly uh, through the PCIe stop from my understanding. So now we got all three fans that should be spinning here in a second. Maybe not. So one of them would spin We'll have to check the other one, see what's going on, what's controlling them. Uh, maybe these two won't engage unless this is on a significant thermal load, but we should be able to power both fans through the hybrid cooler itself. All right, well, I got it set up on the bench, but that's gonna be it for this video, and I'll explain why in just a moment. The fans are good. Both of those are split to a Y connector but it could also be directly plugged into the cable that comes out of the GPU, uh, which is a splitter, so that way we could have the pump control the two fans. However, in changing around and using the secondary splitter, I found out something. That fan getting its power from the board, these fans are getting its power from the motherboard instead of the splitter, because if I plug this in, those fans don't work, and that tells you something. What that tells us is the pump is not working. Why do I know that? Well, GPU fan one should be the pump. GPU fan two 
is this pump or this fan right here. So the pump is not spinning and I confirmed that because one, the thermals don't look where they should be for something that runs on an AIO. Two, I didn't hear anything when I had these fans off. I didn't hear the pump turning on or anything like that. So thermal temperatures, noise, I'm not hearing the pump come on. It shouldn't be too annoying or too loud, but it still should be noticeable. And then three, when I had these two fans on the radiator plugged into the splitter, they were not spinning at all. So the pump's not getting power. We need to do a further investigation by digging into this connector or this uh, hybrid cooling setup and just go ahead and replace thermal pads, thermal paste and all that stuff, but we'll do that in a future video. Most important thing I want you to get out of this though um, is, you know, just clean your fans every once in a while. Some of the methodology I use with the toothbrush, soft bristle or uh, the Q-tip, a little bit of pledge or electronic safe um, you know, maybe some alcohol, whatever, on a, a paper towel, rag. Just clean your blades out, improve your airflow, and get your cards running a lot better. And I look forward to possibly playing with this in the future. If anything, we could always revert this back to the stock cooler uh, later on. And don't forget, we are doing a giveaway of this GPU. Link should be in the description already. But thermals got really hot. This system shut down. Pump is not working needs further investigation. So that's gonna do it for this video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.